Hi, in this video we're going to try to solve this differential equation. So we have y squared minus 1 dx minus 2y plus xy dy. So it looks like this differential equation is probably going to be separable. So what we want to do is we want to get all of the x's on one side with the dx and all of the y's on one side with the dy. So we'll start by adding this to both sides. So I'm basically just going to take this over here and make this positive. So we have y squared minus 1 dx equals 2y plus xy dy. And you'll notice that you can factor out a y here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we have y squared minus 1 dx equals y parentheses 2 plus x dy. Okay, so we want to get all the y's on one side and all of the x's on the other. So basically I'm going to divide by y squared minus 1 and divide by 2 plus x. So this is going to come over here and we'll have dx over 2 plus x equals, and then here we're going to have y over y squared minus 1 dy. All right, so now we're in a good place. Now we're ready to integrate because we have only x's here in the dx and only y's here in the dy. So integrate, integrate. This integral is really easy. You just make a substitution. I'll go ahead and show the work. We let u equal 2 plus x. So then du is equal to dx. So this becomes du over u, right? Because 2 plus x um, is your u and then dx is just du. Over here, you can do the same thing. I'll use a different variable. I'll let, let's let w equal the bottom piece here, y squared minus one. So dw is equal to 2y dy. You'll notice there's no two here. So what we do now is we basically make this look like this by dividing away the two. So we have one half dw equals y dy. And now all of this is gonna be your one half dw. So one half dw. And then here you have your w. Going a little bit fast, just working through this. I was just gonna work out this problem. I thought, let me just go ahead and record it. So here, this is going to be a formula. This is the natural log of the absolute value of u. Same thing here, except it's the natural log of the absolute value of w, plus our constant of integration, which I'll call capital C. So we're not done. We have to go back to the original variables. So u is two plus x. This is ln absolute value two plus x equals one half ln uh, w was y squared minus one, plus our constant of integration, capital C. We could keep going and try to get rid of the ln's. Let's do that, why not? So you can take this one half and you can bring it up. And write it like this. Um, it's gonna be y, absolute value y squared minus one, but you can write it as like that, okay, because when it comes upstairs, it becomes a one half, then you can exponentiate. So this goes away, you get two plus X equals, and then we can write this as E to the LN square root Y squared minus one times E to the C. Drop the absolute value, you get a plus or minus. Times E to the C. Let's call this something else. Let's take plus or minus e to the c and call it k. This will be two plus x equals k y squared minus one. So that's an acceptable answer. Um, you could probably go further. You could divide by k, square both sides and solve for y, um, but I'll just leave it there. So, yep, I hope this video has been helpful. And again, you could have probably just stopped right here. I mean, this would have been good as well. Good luck.